Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. I'm be walking a little bit. I'm gonna do market update. We haven't uh, done one the past days. Uh, so we're gonna start directly with the US 500. It's really amazing, guys. It's just amazing. Um, my previous market updates and my previous charts and my previous uh, educational vids. I've been sharing this chart over and over and over again and people just somehow don't realize how much impact this chart has on the markets and that's why I keep repeating 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 because the moment you understand this is the moment that you're gonna make changes in your life financially just as simple as that and sure if you're like someone, no, MB, we are degens and I want to get rich and there are several altcoins that are pumping, yes. Um, that's also something to educate yourself about how to gain from, 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 from FOMO and how to gain from hype. And that's also something I've done. But at this point now... Um, the macro is just not looking good to me. Uh, so for me, the the, 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 the the period and when to start degening and buying altcoins uh, for pumps like 50, 70, 80%, I try to gain some, but it's not my main thing that I do now. I focus more on how to protect my capital. When we bottom out and the macro is looking very good, that's when I start focusing more on degen coins and on bigger 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 gains okay well let's jump into the chart well i shared this one every market update i do and what did i tell you guys we had the cpi numbers coming up and they were positive and that was what caused this pump and we reached this 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 resistance line again and if you look very good at it we tried once, we tried twice, and we just couldn't even manage to get into this red zone, which is a bit disappointing to, I've got a, there's an old group of mine, um, I educated those guys leverage trading, and well, they are really master in it, and well, I pointed out this resistance uh, zone for them, and they were looking to get filled over here, they didn't. <laughs> So they, it's not they didn't, they did get filled, but not the, the, the big fill was over here. Well, they didn't get it here. So that was a bit disappointing. And well, as expected, just look at it, guys. It just get rejected. Look, the, 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 the previous, the previous uh, CPI numbers uh, that were also good or good, they were lower than expected we had this pump and they pumped it pretty well to this resistance line over here so this was very nice and this time 6.5 guys sometimes i feel like i'm some kind of lone ranger some uh, it's as if i'm the only one in ct that is seeing this and understanding this i it, it really it blows my mind i really i just can't get a grip on it i i I've got a group of retailers, we work together and I can't watch all those shillers. So we have like a group where there are certain people there uh, uh, watching these shows and we've got summaries and that's something that we are going to make bigger and bigger in the future and all the people that are following me and on the TG group, we will uh, get into a Discord group so we can uh, create a real strong big retail army. Because there are a lot of questions about this and it's coming guys, it's coming. Just have patience, have patience, we're coming. We're building, really, we're building a real strong army over here. We're really building a real strong army. We've got my buddy Sid and uh, me and there are a lot of other guys also in that group. And we're building a real strong army and it will pay off. That's one thing I know for 100% certain. But just look at it. Am I the only one seeing this? Because... All those CT guys and all those YouTube influencers, the only thing you're hearing is we hit the bottom. We hit the bottom. We're in a bull run. And there are some indicators. 
they are showing yes we're going up from here um it's I really don't know what these indicators are. I don't know who created them. What I do know is that a lot of these indicators, they also predicted the bottom of 30k. They predicted the bottom of 40k. They predicted the bottom of 20k. The same indicators you're seeing now on those YouTube vids showed you the same bottoms over there. I know, I understand that retailers they love to believe that we hit the bottom and that we're going up from here etc etc but the macro charts say something else they tell us something else they tell us that we definitely did not hit any bottom at least not on the stocks at least not on the macro uh, markets so this rejection it's really uh, listen guys just to to go back i called this one I called this one, I called this one, I called this one, and I'm calling this one again. And it's not because I'm so smart or whatever. I'm just someone who kills greed and thinks logically. And this, you must avoid yourself from getting wrecked here, guys. You must avoid yourself because you can tell me will there is a, there are a lot of stuff going on. There was the DOG was yesterday uh, they uh, shut down uh, a Russian a Russian exchange or whatever it was, etc. Uh, etc. etc. Et and then you get on YouTube those guys, these guys that you guys all follow because one has got 1.5 million followers, one has got 1.3 million followers, the other one has got three 2.3 million followers. I've got. 300 or 400 followers but just look at the facts don't love me hate me you don't need me just look at the facts look at what they are showing you and i will show you what i see and just compare these two and and, and think in your head logically please just do that don't believe me uh, pretend as if i'm your biggest enemy just look at the facts this is what happened yesterday. This, the US 500, has nothing to do with the DOG shutting down any exchange or whatever. This is, just look at this. And now look at this. What do you see? Look at this. And now look at this. This is what caused the drop. This is what caused the drop. And that's why we keep charting this chart. And it's not only for crypto, uh, because we also trade stocks, we trade uh, the S&P, we trade gold, silver, commodities, uh, whatever. So this chart is showing us what direction we're heading. Because at the end of the road, it's all about making gains. It's about making gains. It doesn't matter if you're trading a shitcoin or you're trading Bitcoin or Ethereum or you're trading the stocks or you're trading the US 500 or you're trading Forex. It doesn't matter what you're trading. What matters is how to make money, how to make gains. And that's what I'm focused on. So now we have we arrived we arrived here at this at this at this at this zone and this is a sort of a support zone like you can see over here guys this is a sort of support zone and so are we going to hold this and this is something what I was discussing also in the in the in the in the in the in the, in, in the retail group uh, yesterday what we have been seeing the past months and this is a, a trend change that I'm eyeing and that is also changed uh, the, the the past years and we have to anticipate to that to make the biggest gains and what is that that's 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 this what we see now we see either moves directly up it just breaks every resistance level and just goes up and if it drops it drops to it it just destroys every uh, support level and just comes down to some certain level and that's something that's that, that's changing, guys. And why is this changing? Why is this changing? It's something that we should think about. Because uh, the retailers are getting educated the past year and the past two years. They're not just buying in because some Sheila tells them to buy. No, they're starting to... There are a lot of people that are uh, having trading view accounts 
And that's why also I partnered up with TradingView to get more retailers into trading. Uh, so they know what they are doing, so they don't get wrecked. And the wills, the big money, knows this. They know that a lot of people are now selling into resistance and they are buying into support. So what do they do now? The, sh the, 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 the moves are going stronger just to wreck. So let's suppose this was a resistance level. Look, they just broke it. Boom, boom, boom. And they wreck people that short this. And the longs, the same thing. Over here, people longs. There was a long. Well, this had to be a very good support level over here. But look at it, how it dropped. It just went right through it. So the longs over here, they get wrecked also. So this is changing. And this is something that I keep eyeing. I keep eyeing what is what are the wheels doing. So they don't wreck me or the retail army. That's why I'm constantly uh, developing my knowledge and always learning every freaking day. We're learning every freaking day. Um, so this is the US 500. So this is what I have to say. We've got some support over here, but just don't count on it to just hold because uh, as we see the previous ones, we just went down. Over here, we just went down. Over here, we just went down. Over here, we are just going down. So there is some support over here, but we could drop onto these levels. And where we have to worry, we may not make a lower low. If you make a lower low, well, the green zone is in play. The green zone is just in play. And then we will just chop around over here. And, and this choppy, 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 when it starts to chop around, that's when you make money on altcoins uh, when the, on the bounces. And that's where you grab those gains and not on a drop. And for sure, there are some altcoins that are going against Bitcoin and they get hyped and there is a lot of volume uh, stepping in and you can make gains on that. But success finding those. Because they are very risky. Because if you see someone telling you he made uh, on H bar 10% or 7% while the marks were going down, know that that same person will lose a lot more. Because this time, yes, he hit it, but next time he will lose it. And the time after that, he will lose also. And the time after, they will lose also. I don't care about pumps. I don't care about quick money. I care about making, what is that English word? constant mark uh, constant profit so I, I i take it i have to make profits constantly i have to and there are sometimes i make big profits but i need to make profits i just don't lose i don't want to lose sure there are always uh, some trades that you can lose but it has to be at the end of the day you have to be in gains and profits and at the same time much more uh, much more much more much more important you protect your capital and that's because there are a lot of times, oh, MB, well, we missed that one. No, I did not miss that one. Why? Because I protect my capital. And if I want to, I wanted to win that trade and gain those gains, I had to risk my, my capital. That's the difference. I know that. So I, 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 don't, I, don't, I have zero feelings when I see a pump and I miss that pump. I have zero feelings. So why is that? Because I know I'm protecting my capital. And if I wanted to make that 20, 30% pump, I had to risk my capital. And most of you guys that are listening now, you know what happens when you risk your capital because you will lose one, two, three, and you're gone. You're done. And that's what these markets are made for. And that's why they keep triggering you to, to with these 20, 30, 40% gains, what you see on Binance or whatever. And it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's great. And that's why, okay, let's uh, not go uh, too far into this. Bitcoin. I share this chart also. I shared this chart also because we had another one, the, the small one we broke out. That was the breakout at 18.2. It was over here. That was the other pattern. But for me, guys, in trading, in trading, it's very simple. You've got patterns. It breaks out. It works out. Okay, fine. Go find the next one. Just as simple as that. Go find the next one. Because if you want to make gains, you have to plan forward. You have to see the future. And nobody has got a crystal ball, but based on TA, good TA, you can always know um, where am I going to expect resistance. Well, okay, we had the first one broke out. And then for me, I was charting, charting, charting. And then I found this one. And as you can see, I've shared it a lot of times. Everything is on Twitter. One time, 
two times, three times, no, we come down. So now is the question, what's going to happen here? Is it going to start trying again, make a new low? Then we got this support resistance zone, or is this pattern going to work out? Not like the other one, are we just going to come down here to chop around in this big pattern? Because I'm, as long as a pattern works for me, I keep charting it and I keep following it. And when I'm trading on the lower time frames, that's when I change. That's when I go to another pattern. That's why that's when I go to something like this. And I, this was the previous one that I, that we were charting. We broke out here. You go in along like I shared with the indicator. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. We got a candle closing below it. Get out. And now you wait for the next opportunity. So and so on and so on. Uh, the dollar DXY. Well, this is for me just a support zone over here guys everything here between the 100 and the 102 this is all support and i'm accumulating here accumulating for the bounce to the red zone and from here on i go to my next step so this is just uh, it's just as simple as that um i wanted to show something else because we're we nailed this trade and i want to make an update on it where is it where is it where is it here it is yes i wanted to make a quick update on gold well we nailed this triple this is this is this was this was on the 20 percent Fuck me, this is really, this, 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 this is huge, this trade. But we may not be blind because there's a lot of FOMO getting into gold and there are a lot of governments and they're all uh, accumulating gold, 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 gold. And what we have to do, we don't follow the FOMO. So meaning we go back to our basics and our basics are that we go chart. Because if we would just make this inverse, what is this? This is a triple bottom. This is a triple bottom. This is, if this thing would reach here, then we will have the same like we had over here. What we had over here, so this thing, what we had over here, it's it's going to repeat itself over here, but on the, on the top. So, <coughs> if we would come to the 2000 reasons, uh, uh, regions or something in this red zone, this is when you take profits. If you are really a believer, you want to, you said, no, I'm going to hold my gold and whatever. This is only for the traders and for the investors. I would take some off the table because at some point we have to, we're going to have to, to, to correct a bit. So over here, if we get into the, uh, the red zone, this is for me a no go to gold. The only way that I will jump back into gold is if we break, if we break this, 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 this highs, and this is when the FOMO starts in, and this is where I'll jump in and go long on gold. So this red zone is um, something to keep an eye on. What I also wanted to show you, because there is something else that I'm also very bullish on, but it didn't make the move yet. We made this trade, we made this one, this one we made. But this thing, look how beautiful it get rejected because this is where we jumped out. We jumped out on this candle over here at the 24 hit. This is where I jumped out. I made these gains and this is where I jumped out. And as you can see, listen, it just couldn't break through. There is no power here. It needs a breather. But this one, silver, if it comes back to this region, 21, 21, this is a bit more riskier. But this is based on fundamentals and my beliefs in them. If this one if this one comes back to the 21 i will start accumulating again because i believe that this thing will break out at some point and we will be heading to the 30 dollar uh, range and that will be a huge trade because if this thing goes up it's 40 percent trade it's madness uh the pack gbtc because my buddy brett was talking about it and talking about talking about it so i let me i didn't check it yet it's the first time I'm checking it with you well we broke below this trend line and this is just the power of 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 of, of wheels uh going back but this is by the way this is very bullish for bitcoin this chart at this point uh sorry uh excuse me not for bitcoin for for gold so this is very bullish if this thing starts breaking up again if this candle will hold and it will start breaking up again, um, not good for not good for, for 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 Bitcoin. I wanted to show something else today because we have a bit of time. Um, yes, this chart, guys. 
I've shared it uh, sometimes. Let me remove this one. I've shared it uh, several times on Twitter, and a lot of people are, what is this MB? What are you showing us? What are you showing us? Listen, this is, let me go to the three months. Three months. This is the three month chart. This is a chart of the Bitfinex wheels. What are they doing? These are the shorts that they are opening. <coughs> Move this one. Just look at this. Let me go to the other. Look at this. We are at almost all time high. Meaning that, the, that, the, that, the, that, the, that those wheels over there, they're all, almost at a point from they've never, the shorts were never so low. But if this thing dropped down to this, shouldn't that have to mean that Bitcoin should be at 150k? Or 200k because there are no shorts but just to be clear this is only bitfinex it's just a small part of the whole shorting and, and, and long market but these guys are very very organized so we are almost at an all-time low this is something to worry about because suppose that we we will hold this line and they will start to build up the shorts again well, that's not good for the market, for Bitcoin. Let's just say for Bitcoin. So I want to share this because if you would see the, the, the Bitcoin longs, look where we are. <laughs> look where we are. Look where we are. So we are we are at an all-time high. We, we, we reached here the all-time high. And so this is at the all-time high. This is at the all-time low. So either these guys are so greedy and they are so positive about the markets, that they are just opening longs, but I think that a lot of these wheels are wrecked. That's my opinion. These wheels are wrecked because the average in buying in is 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 not is higher than where we are now. So these guys are wrecked, and uh, this uh, maybe they start to hatch to hatch their longs here in case they don't get wrecked. So this thing needs to come up. It will come up in my opinion because as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine point nine three twenty-seven months. Twenty-seven months they're accumulating here and didn't break down. So I think that the shorts will start to come up here again. Guys, uh, it was a very pretty long uh, update about the um, about the trading view, uh, trading view uh, indicator. I hope it's working out for everyone, and we will be discussing a lot more about it. And um, I'm trying to find some time to start my trading view course uh, vids, so they will come soon. I wish you guys all the best. Have a nice weekend, and bye bye.